Okay, let's go ahead and answer the question. Nine is what percent of 40? So if you know how to do this, go ahead and feel free to use your calculator. Put your answer into the comment section. But while you're doing this problem, I want to ask yourself, um, or you want to ask yourself, hey, do you really understand the basic concepts of percent? And I think a problem like this will reveal whether you really you know, have a pretty good grasp on percent. And when it comes to practical mathematics, nothing is more important than having a full understanding of this symbol here, which of course is the percent symbol. We simply can't get along in our real everyday lives without running into this. Whether you're looking at a particular sale at a store, you're saying, oh, this is 35% uh, off. You're trying to figure out your credit card interest rates. You're looking at mortgage rates. People are talking about inflation. This symbol is everywhere. So it really uh, behooves all of you out there to have a strong understanding of percent. So what I'm going to do in this video is talk about some basic concepts of percent. And of course, we're going to answer this question. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, if you are failing in math, please don't give up. There is absolutely hope for all math students, especially those that are struggling. The main thing you need is great math instruction. That is clear, understandable, and most importantly, comprehensive. You need more than just quick tutorials. You need a lot of full instruction, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the um, middle school, high school, or even college level, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with a math section, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, maybe the AccuPlacer, Alex exam, teacher certification exam, ASVAB, you get the idea. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, definitely check out my homeschool program for middle and high school mathematics. It's gotten a lot of great reviews over the years. Hey, if you need a pair of math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Everybody needs great notes. You, you know, um, by the way, if you're struggling in math, you need to improve your note taking. This is probably one of the most weak areas for students. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, nine is what percent of 40? If you want to uh, go ahead and do this problem again, feel free to use a calculator. You should never feel bad about using a calculator. Just remember, a calculator is a tool. Okay, You still have to know how to use that tool to get your answer, but you'll want to use a calculator to do this problem. Let's go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so as I um, indicated, I want to just review some basic, basic concepts about percent. Okay, And basically, uh, when you think of percent, you want to think of a part out of a whole. Okay, percent is a part out of a whole. Okay, and the whole, by kind of like definition of the percent, is 100. So, what we're doing is kind of expressing some part out of 100. And the way we do that is the following. Okay, so let's take a look at this little think of this maybe as a fuel tank. All right, so we fill this whole thing up. This would be at 100. Let's say we're at 21. Uh, that's some part of this tank. So the part out of the hole would be 21 out of 100. Now, this right here is a fraction. It's not a percent yet. A percent is something that has this symbol here. So what we want to do is express these part out of a whole as what's going to end up happening is typically going to end up with a decimal. So you can go into your calculator and take 21 and divide it by 100 and you'll get the decimal point uh, to one or 21 hundredths if you already understood that by the way this is written. But again, right here, we are not um, at a percent. So we're at a decimal. So how do we go from a decimal to a percent? Well, what you do is you scoot that decimal point two places to the right, which is effectively taking that decimal uh, point to one and multiplying by 100. So to go from a decimal to a percent, and that's what we want, you just basically move that decimal point over two places to the right, and that will be 21% or 21.0%. So the decimal point is right there. Uh, so basically, uh, most people remember to go from a decimal to a percent by shifting the decimal point over two places to the right. Again, it's the same thing as multiplying by uh, 100. So here, finally, we are at 21%. So uh, a percent is an expression of some part out of a whole. And you could just think of if I'm talking about 21%, it's like having 21 out of 100. Okay. 
All right, now, uh, uh, as we indicated, we can go from a decimal to a percent, but as you do other type of percent problems, you need to uh, uh, also remember how to go from a percent to a decimal, okay? And what you're gonna do there is the exact opposite uh, in terms of the decimal point. Instead of going two places to the right, you will go two places to the left. So if I wanna turn 21%, into a decimal, that's going to be 21 um, or 0.21. I'm going to take that uh, decimal point, and right here, uh, just to be clear about it, if you have a number like 21, and you're saying, where's the decimal point? Well, it would be like 21.0. So the decimal point is right after that number. So to turn this decimal or percent into a decimal, you scoot that over two places to the left. So 21% is equivalent to 0.21. So you. These are basic concepts about percent that I think a lot of people, you know, are a little bit, uh, I think maybe most people maybe have a pretty good sense of this, but it's definitely worthy to go over these concepts about percent. And the problem we're doing right here is a basic kind of percent problem. There's definitely more sophisticated um, percent problems. By the way, if you need additional help with percent, I've, I've done multiple other type of YouTube videos on percent, and I teach this super thoroughly in uh, my Math Foundations course and my Pre-Algebra course. You can check those out at my Math Help program if you like. But now let's go ahead and answer the question. All right, so 9 is what percent of 40? So we're looking for uh, a percent, okay? So what percent, 9 is what percent of 40? So as I talked about, um, remember, you want to be thinking about percent. You want to be thinking part out of a whole, okay? So here's two numbers. I have 9 and 40. What do you think is the part and what do you think is the whole, okay? Well, hopefully you're like, well, maybe we're saying 9 is what part of 40, okay? So 40 would be the whole and 9 would be the part, and that's basically it. So let's go ahead and take a look at a little fuel gauge here. So here's 9. If we fill up this whole thing, it would be at 40. So this is kind of like our previous problem, but the part is going to be 9. So we want to express this as a fraction. So that would be 9 out of the whole would be 40. Okay. But again, this is a fraction. We're not, you know, we want to know the percent, so we're not there yet. So the best way to do this is to get your lovely calculator out and take 9 divided by 40, and you'll end up with the decimal 0.225. But again, we are looking for the percent. What percent? We're here, we're at a decimal, okay? So how can we go from a decimal to a percent? Well, just as I discussed, all you need to do is multiply by 100 or effectively scoot that decimal point two places to the right. So that will give us 22.5%. And that is the final answer. Now, I know a lot of you out there probably said, oh, I could do this real quick. This is so easy. You drug this out. You made this a long explanation. Well, what I'm trying to do is to give you a big overarching understanding of percent so you can have a thorough comprehension and master this. Okay, A lot of students can kind of do things. They kind of remember the procedures, but they may not ex know exactly everything that's going on about the concept. And hopefully... You know, I've increased your understanding of percent. But if you got this right all on your own, I must go ahead and give you a nice little lovely happy face and A++. Let's throw in 130% and a few extra stars just to make you feel extra special today. Nice work. But again, remember, when it comes to percent, there's all sorts of flavor, flavors of percent proms. This is an easy uh, problem, but then there's other uh, more sophisticated percent problems that sometimes involve solving algebraic equations, et cetera, et cetera. So what you want to do is test your knowledge of percent because percent is one of those things in terms of practical mathematics that you're going to need for your entire life. Okay, not only as a student, but trust me, as an adult, you're going to run into this thing, uh, especially in your finances. So um, anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, if you need um, help with kind of foundational math or basic mathematics, I have a great little mini course. It's called Math Foundations. You can find it at my Math Help program under my middle and high school math section. And I think uh, pre-algebra, uh, of course, I teach percent in all my algebra courses. So you can cover that as well. So if you're in Algebra 1, studying percent, you can um, check out that program. But of course, it's in my pre-algebra program as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.